All right, thanks, guys. Yeah, I'm here with Cal Penn. You may recognize him from movies like Harold and Kumar or uh, roles in House, but now he's hitting the road in support of what's called the uh, Youth Summit. And can you just explain a little bit about what you're doing with the White House and the Obama administration and what these Youth Summits are all about? Absolutely. So uh, it's great to be back on campus. I was here in 2008 uh, on caucus night um, here in Iowa City, and, and uh, we're putting together uh, a series of what are called Greater Together events. Like you said, they're youth summits all over the country, and they're essentially an opportunity for young people uh, and the president's campaign to continue a dialogue that I think was started in 2008, continued once the president was inaugurated. Um, and you know, youth issues don't often make it to the front page of a paper, so a, a lot of times it takes a little more effort to learn about something like Pell Grants or the American Opportunity Tax Credit or how you're now covered under your parents' health insurance plan now that healthcare reform passed, or you know, how did our friends all come home from Iraq? You know, who fought for that? So those are the types of issues that we're, uh, that we're hoping to, to talk to with young folks. Cool. Now, you personally, you know, you've had a pretty uh, successful career in the acting industry um, or in the film industry, and you've kind of shifted over to politics. Now, it, was that a tough decision or something that was natural to you um, to do in your life, and how long do you think you'll remain in politics? Sure. So that's a good question. You know, I, I didn't think I was going to get involved in politics before the Iowa caucuses, and uh, I, I had a lot of friends that were, um, you know, overseas in Iraq or couldn't afford college, didn't have access to health care. And uh, I thought, you know, here's a guy who's not taking federal lobbyist money and who's not going to be beholden to anybody other than young voters or voters in particular. So I signed up to volunteer. Um, once he won, I had the honor of serving my country in the, in the White House, uh, working on youth issues. Uh, that lasted for about two years when my two-year term was up. Um, you know, I went, went back to some filmmaking and now uh, have the honor of, of helping out on the campaign. Great. Now, I just wanted to get to something a real quick. Um, you actually were nice enough to retweet. I don't know if you remember. I do. You course. retweeted my tweet the other I did. day. So what, and, are the, what are the questions that you We got? got some pretty interesting questions from okay. your fans and my followers as well. Yes. And, uh, so and if they're inappropriate for why we're here today, it might pass. All right, that's okay. I think you'll be able to answer these. Um, so, Tony Tongue wants to know. It's a good last name. It's real. Tongue. I like yeah. it too. What are the most important issues facing the youth today? Uh, what are the most important issues? Well, I, I think that's actually a great question because that's what we're going to be talking about today. Um, the president was able to really save the economy from what would have been you know, the, the brink of a second great depression. And I think that we've seen positive job growth the last 25 months. Um, you know, Four million private sector jobs have been created. The reason that's so important for young people is if you're graduating um, or if you're a returning service member and you're looking for a job, that's a really good sign. Uh, we need to continue that trend over the next four years, but uh, priority number one is obviously jobs in the economy. Also the cost of education, making sure that returning veterans are well taken care of. Um, those are sort of some of the top line issues, you know, uh, the Pell Grant, the American Opportunity Tax Credit, staying on parents' health insurance plan. These are all things that affect young folks in a really direct way. Great. Next question. Her name is a little... It's not, it's not, I don't know if it's a good name, but it's, it's, it's truly pissed. I, I don't, it's, oh, I th pissed. I'm going to go ahead and say very, it's not her real name. I, I, I hope not, because it's... I think so. She's not very happy, but she does kind of... It's like your name is Ben Dover. Ben <laughs> she just Dover. don't want that to be her name. But she actually does have a pretty good question. Uh, she said, have you learned anything from young staff members or interns in the White House or in politics in general? Absolutely. Um, in particular, I would say yes, from, from the younger intern staffers or volunteers on the Obama campaign. Um, they're the folks who really share a lot of their stories. Uh, we just did an event up in Michigan, and there was a, a young man who uh, had a diving accident, uh, I want to say three or four years ago, was in a wheelchair and never would have been able to uh, afford uh, rehabilitative care, and now can afford it uh, because of the Affordable Care Act. So just learning his story and seeing how, in a very real way, something like the Affordable Care Act and healthcare reform could impact a young person like that. Um, or you know some of the young vets that are working on the president's campaign or that used to come into the White House, just you know, seeing how they're not, you know they're taken care of with, uh, with something like the GI Bill or, or uh, with their medical needs was really inspiring. All right, last question, yep. and I don't know if you want to pass on this one or not, but <laughs> at Ramsey Ramson wants to know. Has President Obama ever seen or talked to you about the Harold and Kumar films? You know, I'll be honest with you. This is gonna, this might, this might disappoint you. I really tried to be as That's professional as possible right. uh, <laughs> at the White House. I think that Can't blame me. you've got, you know, you've got the choice of like, you know, the president's trying to pass health care reform. He's trying to bring these these guys home from Iraq. May not be at the best issue to bring. At what point is it the appropriate time <laughs> exactly. to ask the president if he knows that you played so, a character in a movie? I was like, I'm gonna I'm gonna so, not mention so, it. Right? We'll just say that yeah. you guys have not discussed <laughs> those those certain issues in the White House. All right, well, Cal Penn, thank you so much for taking the Thanks, time. Man. I really appreciate, appreciate it. it.